Welcome to Jet Ski Space. In this video, we're playing EVE Online, and we're going to look at shortcuts. There's a lot you cannot control in the EVE universe, but good inputs make for good outputs. I'm going to show you the keys I like to use, but feel free to bind them to something different. Do consider binding them to something though, as these are quite useful shortcuts to use. Starting from the left, on the Window tab, I use keys for Holds and Bays, Local Locations, Overview Settings, and Solar System Map. As we go, I'll demonstrate a few of these in-game. Starting with Local Locations, which is a relatively recent addition to EVE Online. This small window can be useful to leave open if you need to warp somewhere in a hurry. If something, or worse yet, someone, gets the drop on you, you can be out of there in two clicks. The alternative is navigating the right-click menu, and when pressure seconds count, I know which one I prefer. Now let's move to the Combat tab shortcuts. Approach, Keep at Range, Lock Target, Orbit, and Unlock Target are all there to help you fly your ship. And Open Location menu is similar to Local Locations, but you have to right-click in space first. Decrease and Increase Probe Scan Range and Refresh Probe Scan are worth demonstrating. As are directional scan and toggle auto tracking. So let's have a quick look at those in action. I open the solar system map with a shortcut I prepared earlier and easily adjust probe scan range using two keys. And then refresh with a third. For directional scan and auto tracking, let's say I found a reprocessing array attached to a control tower with no force field. I know it's within 1 AU, but which moon is it on? Using my D scan shortcut, paired with auto tracking, lets me quickly check each moon. and a few empty moons and dead sticks, later, I find the reprocessing array I was looking for. Next, the general tab shortcuts aren't very exciting, but it's how you access the shortcuts window in the first place, by pressing escape, and where you'll find the keys for print screen and toggle user interface visibility. There's a bit more to talk about on the navigation tab. I bind broadcast for armor or shields, as well as need capacitor, and in position to buttons on my mouse. Save location is good to have bound to a key when making safe spots mid-warp. Being able to select next target with a key press is also handy. I used it a lot when riding in a carrier back in the day. Stop ship is another one to help you fly your ship better. And the tactical overlay is well worth using when the situation calls for it. I left autopilot until last because I wanted to show off a use of it which might save you a ship or two. If you set your destination to a station and warp to it, as long as you land at zero meters, engaging autopilot while in warp will dock you instantly. Autopilot engaged. Using a bookmark in this way, especially at G-44, to land at zero and instantly dock using autopilot ensures you don't have to burn a few hundred meters before docking. And those few hundred meters are more than enough to expose your ship and any precious cargo to attack, so consider using autopilot in this way. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Next up, the modules tab. It should be no surprise I think it's a good idea to keep buying ship modules, and the shortcut to reload ammo can also be found here. Finally, on the drones tab, you've got three commands you'll need to control your drones. Being able to execute the commands I've covered at the touch of a button lets you control at least some small part of the often dangerous EVE Online universe. I'm also going to include a link in the description to a Google Sheet I use to remind me of these shortcuts. Feel free to make a copy and modify it to match your own key binds. If you'd like more content like this, like this video and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and yes, I am a robot. And this is Jetski Space.